Hello, church family. With Mother's Day weekend just passing, you likely took a moment to stop and smell some pretty flowers. Uh, spring is such a beautiful time of year here in the Ozarks. Between our showers and our short cold fronts, we've had some truly gorgeous uh, days filled with blue sky and sunshine. Budding flowers have been all around us. Dogwoods, red buds, lilac trees, iris, daffodils, tulips, and now we're seeing uh, the rose bushes starting to bloom. So the question is, have you stopped to smell the roses? You've heard the saying, stop and smell the roses. Now you're trying to remember the proverb or the parable of its origin. Well, you actually won't find that in the Bible. It's actually a quote from a famous golfer, Walter Hagen. Hagen played from 1913 to 1942 and has won the third most major tournaments behind Jack Nicholas and Tiger Woods. But this adage, stop and smell the roses, is a chopped up version of what Hagen actually said in his full quote. You're here for a short time. Don't hurry, don't worry, and be sure to smell the flowers along the way. Now, if you've ever hit a golf ball or played around, you'll know that there are a couple of things that lead to poor golf shots. Actually, there are many things, but let me mention my worst. I lift my head. My biggest problem for sure. I want to see where I hit it so fast that I lift my head too quickly, which means I'm no longer looking at the ball when I actually make contact. Do you think I hit it well? <laughs> It's kind of like hammering a nail, but after a couple of taps, you close your eyes. Yeah, it's not good, and sometimes just as painful. And secondly, I swing too quick. I can take a deep breath, relax my shoulders, but in the middle of my backswing, I get in this big hurry, and I try to make up for all the time I took trying to relax. I've torn up divots in the tee box, the fairway, and even in the rough. I'm a golf hack for sure. Now getting outside with a club really helps us appreciate Hagen's full quote. You see in the current context of a round of golf, Hagen is mastering the mental game. He's slowing everything down, being present in the moment, minimizing any mistakes, and engaging his senses with the entire course around him. You're only here for a short time. Don't hurry. Don't worry, and be sure to smell the flowers along the way. Hagen wasn't known as a religious man, but his credo puts everything into perspective. Life, the moments, the mistakes, and even his surroundings. I hear Hagen's quote, and I keep thinking how spiritually profound it is. Life is short. Scripture describes it as fleeting. What is your life? You are a mist that appears for a little while and then vanishes, says James 4.14. Don't hurry. Don't rush the moment. Make the most of it. Be careful then how you live, not as unwise, but as wise, making the most of every opportunity, Ephesians 5.15 and 16. Don't worry. From Jesus' Sermon on the Mount, he has an entire section uh, with this topic. Do not worry about tomorrow. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Can any of you, by worrying, add a single hour to his life from Matthew chapter 6? Stop and smell the flowers. Relax. Appreciate life. Take time out of a busy schedule to appreciate the beauty in life. To realize and appreciate what really matters. This part of Hagen's credo has a subtler spiritual connection. The phrase, stop and smell the roses, may not be found in scripture, but its principles are built into our Christian DNA in the Sabbath rest. God gave his people a day of rest, a day to remember him and to worship him. As Christians, we're mindful of the little things. We're thankful daily for our God's blessings. We're seeing God's beauty in his creation. We're more aware of his presence in our lives. And we're regularly taking inventory of what matters most. But as Christians, we're still susceptible to getting in a hurry, becoming impatient, overlooking the little things, forgetting to be thankful and worrying about our mistakes. It's our pace, part of that backswing that gets rushed and then the outcome gets hooked or sliced. For Hagen, that mental mastery started well before his match. 
He's quoted saying, when I have a match to play, I begin to relax as soon as I wake up. Everything I do, I do slow and easy. That goes for using the razor, getting dressed, and eating breakfast. I'm practically in slow motion. By the time I'm ready to tee off, I'm so used to taking my time that it's impossible to hurry my swing. Hagen's solution to a hurried swing was to slow down, starting first thing in the morning when life is rushing and our shots are getting sent off into the rough. May I propose a similar solution? Stop and smell the roses. God bless and have a great day.